Um, Tell me about Danny Breed. Jeez. Um, we, me and Cody, were skating down Villanova. It's called East 14th now, I think. And uh, this is in the early 80s. And out comes this, like, this dude, Danny, just, you know, squirrely, and like, Schroper, you know, stop, 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 Dad. <laughs> stop. You got skate? <laughs> you know, and um, that was great. That was the first time I ever met him, and we're like, wow, this guy is a wild, wild child. But, um, what was he doing in Davis at that time? His family lived there. Ah, uh, okay. Um, on Villanova. And um, they ended up moving up to Humboldt and building a cabin. And he ended up skating a lot around Mendocino and so on. But um, yeah, Danny, she's. Uh, Head smash too fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> He he really showed me how to like really just be really just aggressive on skateboarding. It's like a not not really hold back. That guy he he had the style like you know <laughs> and and he would pull off tricks where you couldn't believe he even did it. But um, he, we first, he's all, let's bomb this hill, dude, the uh, overpass in Davis. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to go down the, um, down the bike lane. He wanted to go down the middle of the street, you know, not against traffic, but, um, you know, so that was the first time I was probably really scared and we just bombed this hill, but it was so fun. And, uh, <laughs> that was his style, you know, that's, that's how he did it. Everything was right against scary as, as hell you know it's good good stuff mike nice always say every time yeah he's skating with danny uh, he did do mike would do a move and danny would yell yeah mike that's aggressive yeah. <laughs> that's aggressive dad that's aggressive Stop, but yeah i remember like the grinds he would do it looked like he would be flying off the board but you like barely hang on the board and somehow land it and it just, yeah, like you said, it's all contorted and weird. Like, you just, like, going to yeah. fly off some other different direction. Yeah. But he still he, landed on it. Yeah, absolutely. He, he was having, like, a battle with the board. He was just like, oh. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He, was, he, did, he had, like, some strange contorted look on his face. Yeah, and... he would be all like. <laughs> <laughs> but he would pull it off just barely. And, you know. That was, that was great. great. It was a, there was a it was it was art it was like there's tension between the, him and the board like what's gonna happen or you know it did oh that's most great most of the time but, um, yeah you want to talk about other people you skated with in, in Davis yeah um, let me look um see I hear uh, the littles the littles yeah let's hear about the littles the littles were comprised of Halsey Rodman. Andy Wagner, John Chendo, Ron Gordon, um, Dylan, Mike Schiller, Alex Ward. And they were all, at the time, they were all about two and a half feet tall. Is Terry one of them too? Terry Wade. Terry Wade. You, you got some more names on that? He, he, you know, does, all of them could just skate really good. They were, um, John Chendo was a shropper, you know, he was, he was, me and him were always just on it, loving it. it he could awesome. ollie really high, as I recall. Yes. Um, yeah, he did, like, three foot ollies, three Three and a half foot. Did you hear the Adam Ryan interview where he was talking about you guys all in over boards? In yeah. The park? Do you remember that? Yeah, that was uh, barely. But and do you do you agree that he he beat you? 
<laughs> I, I, I'm sure he did. We, we were always kind of head to head, but um, he was very, he, the guy was talented. He was good at what he did. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, yeah, we used to skate every day at, um, you know, during lunch. That was like our time when we would like sharpen our skills every day, all of us. At the, uh, what was that, Lucky's Mall? The Aggie Liquor. Yeah. The Aggie Liquor Curbs. The Aggie Liquor Curbs. Those were good. Shane O'Dell was there every day. Um, Adrian was there a lot. But, uh, who else? You were, you were there. And yeah. When did you skate with Oi? When did you meet Oi? Um, I kind of remember when I met him, but, um, uh, yeah, we used to skate every day. We, I lived at his house practically in high school, but, um, you know, uh, I think I did because I turned like 18 and, you know, I was still in my last year of high school and there we were. But we were punk rock and then to, um, <laughs> yeah, the place. Okay. The place. Tell me about the condition of the place and what, what kind of scene. The place was like this historical building that they ended up tearing down, but it was a historical building. Oh yeah, that they moved to Central Park now. Okay. Do you know that, that that's yeah. where it is? Yeah. Um, was it kind of a trashy house? Was it? At the time it was, pre, uh, the place was just like a community building from like 19, Oh, two, let's say, and um, they they rented it out, but we would do punk shows there, and we had bands, big bands, coming from like these were like skate punker days, from you know, all over. But Sins of the Flesh played there, um, Green Day, um, all kinds of good ones. Yeah. Okay. Yep. How many shows do you remember seeing there? A lot. Uh, uh, we got a lot of Sacto friends used to come and meet us there and ski, we would skate out front or go somewhere else and then come back and just see punk shows. It was a lot of fun. Do you remember when they, they shut it down or why? No, it's all foggy. And that was like 85-ish, 86 or somewhere. Yeah. Around. Yeah. And then we started, when, and then we moved shows to like Central Park and we did them outside and then Community Park. Uh, there were shows there for years and years, but um, yeah, let me see if I have anything else on my list here to stop for a while. Get your hand out, you can't 